Hey everyone, it's Baron from Attack Interactive and in this video I'm going to be talking about how to edit your pages under your CMS tab. So if you can remember CMS um, pages under CMS tab is brings us every page that we can edit um, on our web page so we have about us contact us customer service and pages like that over here if you have to go back to our web page um, the um, pages are over here they can be um, spread all around but um, let's click on about us and see the structure of that pa page okay so um, here it is we have a we have a title here and then we have our content underneath um, let's go back uh, you can choose to preview that page by clicking here if you des if it's desired so let's click on about us and um, take a look at the editing page alright so um, you can choose to change the page title URL key in this case we can um, so what this is, how it is going to be is, let's change it to about, let's change the URL key. So it's going to, the address for this page is going to be www.yourstore.com um, slash about. So this is the easiest way to explain this URL key. Let's just leave it with about. And you're going to choose your store view, which store is going to be view then you're gonna choose its status status so let's go to the content um, if you can remember we had this test heading uh, which is over here so if you change it that's how it's gonna where it's gonna reflect and then your content is here uh, this is like a simplified um, text version text and image um, version of your page of course there's an HTML behind this so to see the code HTML you should click over here I mean if it's gonna be easier for you to understand if you have some basic HTML training uh, basically whatever you see over here is um, there's a code for everything over here so that it can it can be um, it can make sense to the on the web alright you can let me um, talk about this first page first so here you can choose to make some changes you can um, change the um, style color you can you should basically go oh, go through all of this and, and see what change it does for example if you click here it's gonna it's gonna reflect over here we're using a style heading heading style for this so it is automatically um, centered so we don't have to change it from here but you can you should basically um, try to make some changes use this these tools over here and then go back and forth with this coding page and then your main page to see what it does so let me um, let's add something under our first header we can insert a widget which is gonna be um, something like your most most popular items um, your orders and returns recently compared products recently reviewed product you can choose to um, have one of these on the page let's choose recently viewed products let's add this in number of product displays five template let's just leave it like this and then insert the widget so your widget ended up being here um, and, and and then insert an image under that so you can see how it works on the actual page okay let's browse the files let's put the tag logo and choose it and then click on insert file so we also added our image you can as you can see it reflects here as a uh, image and then we have to choose save and continue editing 
go back to our web page and refresh. Okay, so um, the widget didn't show up. Um, I'm, gu I'm guessing because we don't have recently uh, viewed items. Let's go back and um, change the widget so that you can you can also see um, how to how easy it is to change this widget. So you should just click on top of it and choose another widget. Simply um, let's go with new products. I'm sure we have some new products and change this to um, one product and insert widget. So as you can see, the widget just changed. And um, let's just save and continue. Go back to our page and refresh. So right now it brought out a new product uh, from our widget and then the um, images under that. To be able to place this image next to it, you have to know, you have to do some HTML editing um, or if you want to change the design of this widget, once again you got to do um, some HTML coding for that. Alright, let's go back to our page information page and go to design. So what you can do here, you can um, change the layout of the page or add a custom design of course. Let's um, do two columns and with left bar, save and continue and see what changes it does for our page. Alright, let's refresh it one more time. So what it does is it added a column to the left, so here it is and then the other column is here. Do you see how um, it narrowed down your um, middle column? In this case, the column on the right. You can do that. Let's put it back and meta data. It's you can add keywords and description to your page. Page. All right. I guess this sums it all. Once again, it's Baron from Attack Interactive, and thank you for watching this video.